Hi. Welcome to my house. I am Veronica. Oh, it's no bother at all. Please join me at the table. I'm making French potato. I don't receive many visitors. No, I'm not lonely. I'm just strong. Please take a seat. Now, pardon me while I eat my ethnic food. Just like back home, in my indistinct South American country. Mm, 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 mm. Now what brought you here? <laughs> I'm sorry. When I eat my foods, my accent comes out. I'm sure you're lingering because you want to hear all about me. Like, about that time I climbed that mountain. Or that time I ate a bread. Boy, it was carby. Hmm. Good times. I'm sure you also want to hear that I'm not a criminal from where I come from. I just came to New York to pursue... Comedy. Comedy like the one I saw on Seinfeld, with subtitles. Or like the one I saw on SNL, late, and with subtitles. Or like the one I saw on Friends, dubbed. Scratch that, I hated Friends. Not true. Sometimes I laughed. Hey, how about we forget all about that country and cheer up? and watch some of the sketches and characters I've done at the UCB theater, where I live. I'm homeless. Nick, look at that chicken. It's perfect. We gotta get it for my son Manolo. And in two years, huacata, we put it in our bellies. What? Ay, mi amor, in Colombia, everyone eats their pets. Hi, dog. What's your deal? How about I steal you and call you ATM or toenails and then we play like you're my cat. So I throw you off balcony, see if you survive. Hello? What is this square metal animal that has a door and a door snub? I give you 30 seashells and two hugs. I'm in the presence of a cat. Now, cat, you've been a pet all of your life. What is your message? Meow, wow. I think I speak for everyone when I say you've turned the hearts of America. I'm Ann Curry, and it's complicated with NBC. Ooh, you got one dollar shots at this bar? Can I have a dollar shot? <gasps> no way! Does it come with like anything like tater tots and cheddar? The other waitress said that he came with tater tots and cheddar. The other waitress, she had like a hair like this and like a face like this. And her body was like a female shape. I'll have four one dollar shots. How much is that? Por qué no tener un par de piernas? And you speak Spanish? Si, sí, yo hablo español. And how did you learn? Bueno, porque mis, mis padres son colombianos. I really want you on my team. Principalmente voy a hablar español un momento, fuera de que estos gringos no entienden nada, para preguntarte si usted sí quisiera venir a jugar fútbol conmigo un día de estos. Te estoy viendo las piernas. Es que no había terminado la canción. Es que me encantaría. Pero pretende como que te estoy hablando de cosas de la voz. Yo creo que usted cuando habla español le ponen subtítulos. The way you sang that song. I wouldn't have been able to pull it off. Look at this stuff! Yes, and I need! Wouldn't you say my collection's complete? Why don't you choose my team? And I'll be your coach. The football. Peter, 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 I'm so happy you're here. I could burst into tears. I want to slap you across the face. Why you never visit your mother? I know this is a visit, but why you never visit your mother? 40 hours a week is too much work, Peter. You look pale. I'm gonna call the hospital on you. Mary, shut your beak. Shut your beak, Mary. Okay? I'm gonna slap you across the face. You want me to call the hospital on you? Nothing would please me more than to take both my children to the hospital every Sunday. This is Jenny from Harlem High. This weekend I got mad film reviews coming at you. Brace yourself. Okay, first movie, Jurassic Park. This movie was made before my parents were banging. So I watched it for the first time. Loved it. I give it five fingernails out of five fingernails. And you know how much I like fingernails. Jurassic Park, it's like, say, Godzilla meets Land of the Lost meets the way my mom reacted when she overheard me calling her a bitch. Uh, this has been film reviews with Jenny from Harlem High. Keep safe, baby bitch. Growing up, I watch a lot of Seinfeld and he is my inspiration. I've seen every episode and I just loved it. He's not only a brilliant writer 
and comedian, but that series just completely shaped the way my life evolved. The undistinct country where I come from is Venezuela, and I didn't really have the opportunity to express myself comedically. It's been so liberating to come to New York and finally do what I've been dreaming about since I was a kid. And now that I'm here, I realize, one, boy, it's amazing, and two, boy, it's expensive. It's really expensive. And I just want to keep taking classes to develop my comedic talents. Being part of UCB theater as a performer has been the most amazing blessing and trip and journey of my life, especially coming from a different country. I hope you consider me. I would really love this scholarship. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.